And welcome to the Geek Station Joyce Podcast YouTube channel. This is a show called What You Doing, where we talk about what we've been doing during the week. I'm your host, Edward Perez, is with me as sometimes me friend. Felix. What you been up to, bro? Well, I played this little game from I don't know when. It first came out for a 3DS, and it's Resident Evil Revelations. Uh, played on the Xbox One. That's an it, yeah, it's really fucking old. Um, I, I was in the mood for a shooter for a pew pew game after the big pew pew that was Doom, and um, I gotta say this is a change of pace. Um, the yeah, story, it's, I, wouldn't, it's, I wouldn't, I don't wouldn't call it a, st- I wouldn't call it a shooter. A what? I wouldn't call it a shooter. There's pew pews in it, but I wouldn't call it a shooter per se. Oh, no, definitely it's not a shooter, but I wanted pew pews in it. And the way this game okay. is designed, you have you have to use a lot of pew pews. Yeah. So, but there's also the scary type of game bits. this is. Yeah, it's it's a little bit scary at a kind of places, but it's Actually, well, it's actually not scary. It's more like frustrating. So the game came for the 3DS way back in the day when the 3DS almost came, when the, when it just came out. Uh, the story is divided by chapters. There's 12 chapters, and each chapter is around, what can I say, like 30 to 40 minutes long. Um, yeah, they're We short. go on this storyline, we go with Jill and a guy named Parker. Turns out some corporation or somebody built a city over the water and some tourists just re- um, released a lot of bioorganic weapons and it all went to shit so you, we are in a ship investigating because this ship is supposed to be the one of the layers for the terrorists and um, mm-hmm. that's basically the, the jest in the story shenanigans ensue and we have a game so this game is about I I finished it in about seven hours I think, so it's kind of like a Resident Evil Three, the remake. Um, well, I mean because it came out for the 3DS, it gets a pass because you don't you. Don't, oh yeah, completely. It was one of the Com- first, yeah, it was one of the first pew pews for the 3DS. So the fact that those controllers even translated to the to the next gen, which was 360, and then the 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 gen after that, the one. I mean, that goes to good game design. That's when we started with the uh, walking and shooting at the same time. Yeah, and it it actually works pretty well. The only thing is that it really looks like it was designed for a portable console because you don't get any variation for the enemies. You get the boss enemies, and you get, I think, three types of enemies, and that's it. That's just the way it goes. Uh, well, it was and it was a 3DS game. That's why. Yeah, yeah, and and it, and I understand why this came to pass. Um, I played it one and a half times. So the first time was frustrating because okay. I was um, managing bullets and all that crap. And as almost any Resident Evil game player, you all mm-hmm. you all get you get kind of stingy with your bullets. And I was getting stingy with yeah. my bullets. And mm-hmm. the I finished this game and half well, halfway through this game, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not gonna manage my bullets. I'm just gonna shoot my way out of everything. And this is the best way to play the game. You should uh, clean away your ammo until the motherfucker is dead. That's the best way to play this game. Yeah. Don't get stingy with your bullets because you get a lot of bullets. And once you get that you once you get that in your mind, once you get that in your head, you actually can breeze mm-hmm. through it. I played it on normal because I I mean I just wanted an experience. And it was pretty fun. And after the game ended, I I got a lot of weapons, so I say, hmm, let's give it another go. So I played four chapters of it, and I was neglecting this new game mode called Raid. So you play every new mm-hmm. uh stages uh redone from the normal levels and you have to kill uh bioorganic weapons and the way you kill them you get award points and with these points you can buy guns you can buy upgrades and you can buy uh 
uh, what's it called skins for the for the characters. Each character yeah. has three skins. I did not know this was gonna be so fun. I actually played a fair bit of that of the raids, and it's based on level. So each level you get, you get more battle points, you get more unlocks. So I actually had a lot of fun with this game. So I got it in the game. I played it on the Game Pass. So mm-hmm. I think if I find it, which I am gonna find it in a bargain bin, um, I think I'm gonna buy it. But I really want it on the 3DS. Mm. So mm. I maybe I'm uh, gonna buy it for the 3DS if I if I look at it. If you find it, um, the th- yeah, the if I one, find it, <laughs> eh, it's a little iffy. The second one is a little iffy. I liked it, but it, eh, I, oh, it's kind of unforgettable. It's kind of forgettable. But I remember the 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 first one okay. where you on the ship and all that. That's kind of cool. They're good. They're okay. Yeah, actually, it's they're pretty not, fun. They're not the greatest. They're good little side yeah, the, games. But they're like a yeah, they're like a good intermission between main games. So yeah, that's it. Go play that. They're and what fine. do you do? They're old as hell. Uh, yeah, I watched Twenty One Bridges. Yeah, I watched Twenty One Bridges. The Twenty One Bridges are uh, Twenty One Bridges featuring our King T'Challa, Wakanda Forever, where <laughs> there Your is king? a a drug. Yeah, my king. When there where there's a uh, drug deal gone wrong, <laughs> and they the drug dealers have want to are trying to escape, and he shuts down all the bridges to and from Manhattan. It is a very oh, run of the mill, like detective work, detective trying to figure out, he's trying to figure out who they are, their backstory. And you start to know who the bad guys are. Um, the, I mean, the, the movie starts and he's any, he, any, he, and the kid and the dad, his dad dies. Right. So that's why that's his motivation to be in the yeah. top. And the dad gets called an Avenger of the land. And that made me chuckle. And I got a note on here. No sense. Says, <laughs> the dad was a cop. Yeah. Uh, and then you get <laughs> Keith David who plays, who plays probably who voices every black man in every video game ever. And he's always kind of oh, like shit. the bad guy. So I thought he was going to be the bad guy, but he's not. Uh, which would, would uh it's it's a good movie it's it's a good watch i was i was it, it piqued my interest i was it, i was intrigued the whole time i was engaged i love t'challa i love black panther he was he's dope he's a he's a great actor um what's the actor's name the thing that th- i was trying to remember but i just i kept calling him whenever you ask me to tell you an actor's name on command i can't think of it okay. but it'll come to me probably <laughs> later um the thing that I found weird that in the movie, there's a lady who who is just as good as him, that who is kind of his partner, and they kind of go back and forth and have that bickering partner, and he doesn't need a partner, and she wants a partner and all that. But the trailer neglects yeah. to show her at all, which was was kind of weird to me. On it though, they yeah they don't. Well, you don't. Do you remember a lady be in the trailer? No, I just remember King T'Challa kicking ass. Yeah, Chadwick Boseman. That's yeah, that fucker. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, there's they there's no mention of her in the trailer, and she's kind of like a big a big deal in the movie. She's just as good as him, cop wise. And I just found that to be odd. But it's a good watch. It's uh, oh. if you right now times you have nothing to do to go watch i'll give it a a seven because i i'm trying to okay de- that, that's not bad deduct my bias i'm trying to deduct my bias it's okay like, for me yeah. it's like an eight because of my, that's my king and i bow down but i'll give it a seven <laughs> okay that's 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 sensible what else you watch Bri? i watched vivarium i I forgot about this movie when you told me to, about it, and I when I started watching yeah. it, I remember the trailer. So this movie stars Imogen Poots yeah. and Jesse Eisenberg. They're a couple, and the the mm-hmm. movie right from the bat 
it starts that they're looking for an apartment. So they go to this place. I can't remember the the real estate agency. And they talk to this agent mm -hmm. who is by far one of the weirdest people I've ever seen. I've seen that actor in other movies, but the way he plays his role, which is like he's like something trying to play a human and learning from that. So he takes them to this um, mm. suburb and he shows them this house, house number nine. And yeah, they keep, he keeps them he keeps them there, so they're trapped mm -hmm. in this suburb, and they're the only ones there. And the only way that they can be released is to take care of this fucking baby that appears one day in a box. So they do mm -hmm. not want this baby; they hate this baby. And this <laughs> kid grows fast. In about ninety seven days, okay. he looks like a eleven year old, and he's. He's strange. I mean, you, you you see it from the bat. He's some, there's something off, and they hate him. Mm -hmm. So they start digging. Jesse Eisenberg loses his mind. Imogen Poots hates herself, and there's a lot of personal issues. And okay. because there's just three of them, so they kind of go nuts. I'm not gonna spoil the Kinda end, but it's actually pretty. Yeah, I, 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 it's kind of on point with what we're living right now because if it's they don't yeah. they try to leave the house but they can't <laughs> so yeah it's a sci-fi thriller it runs an hour and a half okay. and it's kind of a slow burn but by the end it just ramps up and in okay. the, actually the ending is so it left me feeling so strange that i had to kind of turn the tv off and think about the movie and it's been a okay. it's been a minute since i've done that so i definitely recommend this movie to watch it's it's on my list and i was i was gonna wait for you to watch it so you you think i should watch it yeah yeah it's 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 a very interesting watch it's a very interesting movie mm, okay i think i'll give it an eight an mvp image and poots Definitely. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, so what you do? I also watched uh, Soul Levante. It's this very short, like when I mean short, Netflix short of a young woman, a young warrior mm -hmm. leaves in search of a sacred place, which is said to grant wishes. Better not to stir the wrath of the uh -huh. ancient guardian spirits. This is just to show off uh, 4K HDR, really, which my TV doesn't have. So it was having a seizure while I was trying to watch this, and it um. And it's very short. It's very colorful. There's no, there's no, no dialogue. It's just straight up. It's just straight up music and vibrant, crazy colors. If you have a wait, is this the five TV minute capable? short? Yeah, yeah, it's the five minute short. My 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 TV I have, I've was been was, meaning was to watch it, but City. I forget. But if if you have a TV with <laughs> without capabilities, it's way better if you watch it that way. It's that's what it's for. Okay. Um, if you if you hear a little lag, is because we're struggle city over here too. All right corona uh but yeah the one thing i did watch that my tv could handle was crystalia's comedy special entitled no pain you watch it bro no i didn't uh how is it no okay we got up he's cut up um no Crystalia's how is it it's on the tippy top of my list no right pain. now actually uh he comes out to homicide which is amazing by logic the song that he's in, he features and he's rapping as Eminem at the end of it. Love that. Um, yeah. He's just a goofy, silly goose, man. Like, there's no no ifs, ands, or buts about it. He's just he's just wacky. He's just crazy. It's 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 great. I liked it. My favorite bit was the dolphin bit. Yeah. Look, okay. Looking forward to that bit. And I respect Chris Talia because he doesn't give a flying fuck about anything. No, he don't give a fuck about nothing. 
did you see him on the Rogan podcast? Uh, I saw him on a couple casts. Yeah. Okay, so in the in the last Rogan podcast, he was chilling with Rogan and whatever. That once Brian Callen yeah. shows up, he, he changed. Is off. Rogan is a side character, and they they yeah. those two go off. So that was fun. Yeah. Yes, they just they just go they just play off each other. They 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 just beat they just talk shit to each other. It's great. It's fantastic. Yeah, so I'm a big fan of Chris, so I'm going to watch that one. Yeah, so that's what we watched. Uh leave us a like and comment down below what the hell you all been watching during these hard times. And always and forever, you do you. Bye. I guess he's going to wait to say bye. Uh, fucking technology.